Hello everyone! Welcome to Olisi Other Paths, a what-if series that will theorize the alternate realities, futures, or past of our favorite biomechanical mythology. I am of course talking about Bionicle. Karzani is the seeming mythical boogeyman of the Matoran universe, until he became all too real to the small company that would become the Toa Anika. Karzani was the insane tyrant and warlord of his own realm named after him, and his dominion was ruled by fear, neglect, and hate. How he achieved this terror was with the Kanohi Olisi, the Mask of Alternate Futures. It allowed him to show any being a different reality or alternate timeline that could trap them in a perfect illusion or a terrible prison. Today, we ourselves shall don the Olisi and discover new alternate realities. Friends, join me as we ask the question, what if Karzani defeated Makuta Teradax? Let us take a trip to the darkest depths of the pit, where in final battle, the Toa Mari engage in a desperate fight with the Baraki, mutated warlords, seeking the Kanoe Inaika, the Mask of Life. Aiding the Toa was a Maxilos robot possessed by the evil Makuta Teradax himself. Before engaging the Baraki personally, Makuta was interrupted by mutated Karzani, seeking to overcome the power vacuum left by Mananui's upheaval. Karzani was no match for Makuta's power, but Karzani also possessed an ability even Teradax could not defend, the Knohi Olisi. Karzani cast an illusion of Mananui's reawakening and the wrath of the Great Spirit on Makuta. In the original timeline, Teradax recovered and made short work of the former tyrant by destroying Karzani's mind. In this timeline, it is Teradax's mind that is destroyed, leaving him an empty shell of the Makuta he once was. Krasani would unlimber his flaming chain and break open the armor of the Maxilos robot before incinerating Makuta's antidermis from the inside out, killing him once and for all. Matora would be so stunned that he wouldn't be able to fight back and be struck down by Karzani as well, effectively killing the only being capable of saving Matanui. With both of his foes defeated, Karzani would join forces with the Baraki and kill the remaining Toa Mari. The Inaika would sense Mananui and Matoro's deaths and go black. Unconcerned for the Mask of Life, but wanting to be cured of his mutation, Karzani would allow the Baraki to destroy the Inaika and bathe in its power, restoring them all to their former glory. Unable to return to a dead Matoran universe, the Baraki and Karzani would set up their new dominion on the island of Voyanui, which wasn't destroyed. Karzani would create his dark kingdom in the former Mask of Life chamber, where the Matoran of the island would once again be under his mighty gauntlet, and the horrors they thought they escaped would continue anew for ages to come. As for everyone else in the Matoran universe, it would become the kingdom of the Great Spirit. But things would have been different. Much, much different. However, that's another reality for another time. And that concludes What If Karzani Destroyed Makuta Teradax on this episode of Olisi Other Paths. Tell me what you think. What do you think would have happened? That's the great thing about what ifs. There's too many possibilities. What else would you like to see? What other secrets will the Elisi reveal when next we don the mask? Until we meet again.